What wind there is, is blowing in the opposite direction today to the direction it was blowing yesterday. So that will be from Lendl's, let's see, from the right to the left of the screen as you look at it. When you talked about final warm-ups before the US Open, of course, there's a tournament next week. The uh, event that we will be showing you on ESPN from the Hamptons in New York, Jericho, New York, and of course the ATP Championship in Cincinnati played concurrently with that. But it's certainly the last time that these two will play against each other before, before the uh, U.S. Open. And I have a feeling that having seen these two over the last two weeks, that Ivan Lendl, the man you're looking at, will be in the U.S. Open final alongside John McEnroe because I don't see where his opposition is going to come from. Boris Becker is always the open question, but he has not played that much tennis on hard courts. There is some question in my mind about how well he's going to be able to move on hard courts. Lendl yesterday after the match said that he has some difficulty moving on hard courts. He prefers to either play on clay where you slide on the ball. Uh, grass has never been a favorite surface of his. You also slide on that. So he's trying to get used to the surface. I think that Becker will have the same problem, which is why I believe that these two players are the class of the field. Of course, they're number one and two in the world. Now, this is the favorite service uh, for John McEnroe to play on. He's had much success uh, on these kinds of surfaces. Some nagging injuries slowed him down a little bit early in the year. People wondering where he went between April and August because he did not win a championship in that period of time. But came back to win last week and uh, certainly looks strong and has to be the favorite going into this final match of this Canadian Open for 1985. McEnroe uh, will be coming to the net a lot. He just ate up Jimmy Connors yesterday, especially with his serve. Well, of course, he was in the quarter. He was a quarterfinal loser to Kevin Kern, but he was in the French Open semifinal losing to Wielander in that. He won Stratton last week. You mentioned earlier in the year he won Atlanta, Chicago, Milan. He won in Houston and Philadelphia. Not a bad year when you consider that six or seven titles, and here he's going for seven or eight. Um, it has not been a year that I suppose he will be proud of, but John McEnroe is, as he says, really peaking at this point, and what better time for him since the U.S. Open is just, I would say, well, let's see, what are we looking at? Three weeks away now, the final of the U.S. Open, and I think he'll be in shape for that event. The players are getting ready, and we are ready. We'll be set for the start of the finals of the 1985 Canadian Open Championship from Montreal, so stay with us. McEnroe and Lendl are coming up. Jeremy Shales will be the man in the umpire's chair for this championship match this afternoon, and uh, I look for him to be tested on occasion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, you hate to say too much about it, but it has to be said, both of these fellas, uh, John McEnroe particularly, has his say on the court. So many people feel very negatively about the way that he behaves. He oversteps the mark more often than he should, no question about it. Talk about his talent on the court is an entirely different story, but he feels or he hopes that he's improving his behavior. I didn't really see it, any improvement that is last week from Stratton where he had words with the fellas in the chair. But that's part of the way that he plays the game. The thing that we mentioned yesterday that I think is important for his opponents to realize is that while he will have a discussion with them and while those kinds of things that happen on the court will very often affect the way that uh, some players play, it does not affect him. If anything, it pumps him up. Yvonne Lendl has become more vociferous himself on the court. I think more as a sort of a protective mechanism than, than anything else because if McEnroe and Connors, for example, are going to be doing it, then you know that he feels like he is going to have to have his say as well. They are very even in almost every statistical category, and that includes money won. In 1985, John McEnroe, official prize money, $658,852. And Yvonne Lendl, not far behind, $630,271. And in this tournament, they have a chance to add to that at least $25,000 per second. First prize is $51,000. Lendl beat uh, in the first round here, Mark Fleur. He beat Tim Mayotte, and I was wondering earlier in the year when Mayotte won down in Del Rey whether he was going to be a factor on the hard courts. I thought he would be. He has not been as successful as I anticipated. He beat Anders Jared, and then yesterday in the semifinal, I hope you had a chance on ESPN to see him beat Jimmy Arias, 6462. It is the defending champion, John McEnroe, to serve first. 15 love. We are just underway. First set.
Sorry, sorry, sorry. McEnroe is where there's a slight delay. Beat Tim Wilkerson in the second round. He had a buy in the first round. Ayotz in the second round won 11 1. In the third round of the tournament, the second for him. He beat Ramesh Krishnan from India. And then in the semis, Jimmy Connors. You can see the pattern early, Cliff. McEnroe coming quickly to the net yeah, off that first that serve. And Lendl trying to pass him. 30 love now. Well, you know, these two know each other's games very well. They've played against each other so many times. <laughs> Series edge to McEnroe, 13-11. That's the way they stand as they start play today. John, it has been a very patchy history between the two of them. McEnroe won the first two, then Lendl six in a row. Then McEnroe came through and out of the next eight or nine times, or make that about out of the next ten times, McEnroe won about eight of them until Lendl turned it around again this year in the uh, WCT Tournament of Champions. But it was all Lendl at one point, then all McEnroe. Now it is evened out. But it was interesting to watch that match they played in Philadelphia in 83 when McEnroe beat him for the first time in about six meetings. And he did it by coming in, by attacking Lendl, by making him going for the passing shots, by attacking his second serve. And he has done that ever since. And it's worked. Still first serve at 40 love in the first game of the first set. We appear to be in the flight path today. So get him warmed up for the U.S. Open. <laughs> That'll do it. I said the wind was blowing in the opposite direction it is and that's probably why we are in the flight path. Game one to McEnroe. He holds his serve at love. This is the finals of the Canadian Open for 1985. Yvonne Lundell will serve for the first time when we come back. In his semifinal match on Saturday, he won 92% of his first serves. Exactly what you predicted, Cliff, on that second serve. It was McEnroe coming in. Watch it again. See, here's the uh, Lendl forehand, and he's got a good passing shot. McEnroe with a drop volley, extraordinarily well executed. The point is, though, that as well as Lendl uh, and as hard as he hits those passing shots, McEnroe is a superb volleyer. volley from McEnroe and Lendl not quite able to get there. Outstanding drop volley again. Watch this one here. Now he has to slice that one. Makes for a relatively easy volley for McEnroe as well as he can volley. And he makes no mistake with that one again. Puts himself in outstanding position here. Second game with a great chance to break. So the first thing that needs to be said from a tactical standpoint is that so much depends on Lendl's first serve. As you said, when he gets the first serve in, he'll win about 90% of the points because it is a ferocious delivery that he has. And on the other side of the court, the same thing is about true. And about 90% for McEnroe when he gets that first serve in. comes back to even at 30 all. Well, that's what Lendl will do to you. Uh, he'll come through with a couple of first serves, and as we said, nine times out of ten, he'll win the point. And that's literally. 
but he also feels the pressure of knowing that he has to get the first serve in because those percentages drop dramatically when he misses the first serve for obvious reasons. That time he followed his serve to the net and put away an easy one. Again, the great first serve setting it up. Watch it. Wide to the backhand side of John McEnroe. He manages to just scratch it back, but it's an easy forehand volley for Lendl. Three in a row. Lendl has won three Canadian Open titles. His first ace, and he takes the second game. The only modern day player, by the way, to have won three Canadian championships. Bob Bedard from Quebec.